Okay, we're gonna do our second try at running on nitro. This is Keeney Wayne Shepard. Blue on black, baby. And uh, yeah, Joker on Jack. <laughs> So, I tried this before, and uh, it was just feeding too much fuel because I actually left the, um, let's shake that up a little bit. I actually left the Welch plug uninstalled, which is bad. So now I have a completely different carb because the other one, I had some other problems as well. Oh, come on, get on there. There we go. It's on. So I, 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 I fixed up another carb for it. Oh, I need my earplugs. I need my earplugs for this one. It's going to be loud. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So this is a uh, nitromethane fuel mix. It is 30% nitro. Let's, let's see how she goes. And that right there is just regular two-stroke gas mix. See, I think maybe. My guess is it's not enough fuel, so I'm gonna crank it open. We'll do a turn and a half more open on the high side. My throttle's stuck now, what the hell? Full turn on the low. Let's turn that high in. Half a turn. Mediocre. I'm turning the high end a little bit more. If it's getting, I mean, it ain't hot at all. 
not even a little bit. Another half a turn in on the high. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. running so let's go ahead and dump all that fuel out Put regular gas back in. Stay there, Kenny Wayne. Put this nitro mix back. Now we run it until it blah, 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 gets super rich. So we've cleared it out of all of the harmful nitromethane fuel. So we're ready, we're ready to put it up for store. Oh, 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 storage. And that's the way we're gonna run it at Sawfest. Is it gonna win? Hell no. I almost hope not. because it's pretty slow. These caps suck so bad. There we go. But um, I will say this, I've got a much better chain to run on it for the actual competition at Sawfest. So it'll cut a lot faster than that. That chain right there is What's it called? Shoot. It's a test chain. It's a, it's a experiment. <clears throat> Experimental chain. But uh, yeah, I had big plans with going all out for this saw. And you know, life happens. Hopefully they'll keep this class for Sawfest next year and I'll have more time to delve back into it and do some more things. But as it is, I mean, it, I, I don't know what comes off the camera or anything, but it is stinking fast. <laughs> it's just, you know, not what a race saw needs to be. But this right here is a uh, Holzformer G366 uh from tristar supply um if you guys haven't looked into tristar supply for some of your parts and and saws like this and stuff do 
I know Jason personally. He's a good guy uh, and uh, good people to do business with, you know. But uh, TriStar Supply Inc. at gmail or, or, or dot com. No, TriStar Supply LLC at dot com. And uh, I'll put it on there. Put it on there. But yeah, uh, it it is cutting really good. It's just, is it good enough to win a competition? Surely not. Um, surely not, you know. But yeah, it, it it's very powerful. And that's with a uh, nine pin, sorry, an eight pin sprocket on there. So like, I was really able to push. You know, I, you know, you know, not really push like this, but right here, <clears throat> it was wanting to push back against me. And that's with an eight pin sprocket on there. So it does run really good. I just can't imagine it being the best one there. You know, there's a lot of other builders out there that are A, better than I am, and B, we're able to spend more time on this saw you know, two piece heads and stuff. This is just a, I didn't do any machine work to this cylinder at all. I was just getting it together. I had this big plan where I was gonna go step by step, but you know, life happens. So this is just a very, very mild port job. Very mild port job. Pretty damn open muffler and, uh, um, and a carb that's set up to run 30% nitro. So, oh, and don't ask me, how to set it up on nitro that is a secret that you know i've been working hard to get to i can't just share that people is given to me in confidence maybe you get to know me a little bit down the road maybe i can give you some pointers just like it was done for me as well you know but as far as just like putting it out there on the internet hell no i ain't gonna do that you know that's these are secrets of the trade that like people have passed it down to trusted individuals i'm not just going to blabber mouth it all over the place but uh but yeah thank you to the fellow that helped me with that and again you know like i said it's a very basic um port job but it is cutting pretty damn good um so am i happy for what's going on absolutely yeah that nitro it wouldn't run like that on gas it didn't have that much torque on gas, even with a seven pin sprocket. So it's clearly, fuck, Urgh. I got a cold. I'm not happy camper today, <laughs> uh, but I can laugh at myself. Hopefully we'll be able to not embarrass ourselves at Sawfest. I don't think we will. I think it runs pretty good. Just not great. You like that, didn't you? Okay, so, I mean, I don't know what came off on video. I'm having a rough day today. Oh, nasty. Um, and uh, feeling really bad. Got a headache and all that stuff. So don't mistake my uh, uh, disappointed nature as disappointed in the saw because I'm not at all. Um, <clears throat> just to reiterate, the uh, no machine work whatsoever. I just did a base gasket delete to that cylinder and um, uh, a very mild port job because I was aiming at going step by step by step and seeing how much better and better and better I could get it. And uh, well, you know, life happens. Uh, I've had a really hellacious year <laughs> this year dealing with a lot of stuff. And you know, I, I know you guys get that. <clears throat> but the saw though, I gotta say, man, I mean, that's with an eight pin sprocket on it and it had gobs of torque. Uh, it's running really, really well. It's just not where I wanted it to be. And then at the same time, that chain that's on there really 
I don't want to say anything about it. It, it. That was not sharpened by me, but by somebody else. And it was just a test chain. It was just a, it was just a hey, let's just see kind of thing. And I'll say that <clears throat> half of the cutters are square filed and the other half of the cutters are round filed. And, uh, and it's just, I don't think it's any, any better than the chain that I was running on, <clears throat> on that um, uh, uh, FCO that you just saw it going go up against. That was the best time for the FCO and the best time for the, um, uh, the G366. And uh, the 366 did it two seconds, two full seconds faster, which is a lot. That's like about 35% faster than a saw that was already ported. And it actually is running good. It's just there's some more work I got to do to it. That's all. But um, uh, so the way it is, uh, I bet you it would beat any 60cc saw I have, um, which is including the Makita 6100, which will pull 13.5 in a cut like that, and the um, uh, Husqvarna 562 XP. Got two of them, Mark One and Mark Two. Both of them will pull about 13 to 13.5 in a cut like that. So. Yeah, it's running good. I just, eh, you know, I'm in a lackluster mood. That's all. And the chain that I have, I have a full tilt race chain that I will be running on it. And uh, it'll go a, a lot faster than what you just saw. I mean, with, that, with the chain that I have on it, uh, the best cut that you saw was about five seconds. Uh, five point one or so seconds um and the uh, uh the chain that i'm going to run on it i don't want to put it in this wood you know we save that chain for the day of but that chain would probably get it through the wood about a full second and a half faster <laughs> so so we're looking at um with my good chain in that block of wood it was doing 5.1 let's say, um, uh, and with the good chain on there, it would probably have been done at about 3.5. So yeah, it's hauling ass. It's just, I'm in a shitty mood and, uh, and it has a mediocre chain on it. Um, probably cuts about the same speed as a stock C83. Um, actually, no, I tested it. It's slower than a stock C83. So yeah. But that's the way we're going to run it. As a matter of fact, I mean, it, it's got so much torque. I know that in, at Sawfest, they're going to have some pretty small wood. That wood that I'm cutting it in is about 12 inches, I think. And with that race chain on there, I might be able to get away with a 9-pin uh, sprocket. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I think I'm just going to... Because, you know, I've had it. I've had it. I've, I've been doing so much stuff that I'm just going to go with what I got to Sawfest and have fun and enjoy it. And I'm not going to worry too much over um, getting everything dialed in and perfect and, you know, but we'll see how it does. My guess is, is it will still do well uh, because, you know, running nitro like that is not far off the mark of running nitrous. So it, it, it's really got some, some oomph to it, you know. I bet you it's over 7 horsepower with that nitro, you know, which is nice. Not as much as some of the top guys that are going to be running, though. <laughs> I'm no fool. I know that I'm going to get beat, uh, but, um, but it's going to be fun to compete. That's all. And it's fun to say that I finally made a, a saw run on nitro. Now I just got to go to the next level with the porting and uh, possibly a two-piece head and stuff. But I figured that this being my first time doing this, the most important thing that I could do would be to get it to run on 30% nitro. And it's clearly doing it and running, running well. So, yeah, I'm happy. I'm like, woo, yay, good job. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough. And I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Uh, if you haven't, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and check you guys on the next one.